Hey everybody, Mr. Riedel here. I uh, am in the classroom over spring break because I have a few things that I wanted to bring by and I also needed to feed my fish because he needs to eat. But thankfully, since he's a beta fish, he can go a few days without eating at a time. In fact, before I forget, let me do that now. Where are you? Hola, senor. So, other than feeding the living organisms inside of my classroom, I uh, wanted to come in because I wanted to set up a new speaker for my computer. For those of you who watched my teacher desk um, setup tour video of this little area right here, you may remember that I had two huge speakers on top of my bookshelf here, and all I really used it for was my computer. I didn't ever play CDs. I mean, who plays CDs anymore? I didn't use the radio. I didn't really use anything other than the fact that it was just a connection from my computer to my speakers. And I'm trying to not have as much stuff. I'm a pack rat by nature, and, and I'm trying to get rid of stuff that is just taking up space or not being used to its full potential and stuff like that. Um, and while I love having big speakers, I never really turned them up very loud because I didn't want to disturb all the other classrooms. I mean, I turn it up pretty loud, and they can hear it, but uh, I never turn it up as loud as those can go. So uh, what I've been playing with at home is a Google Home Mini, and I love Google Home because I love Google Assistant, and I love being able to control a speaker from my phone or from my voice. and have it do lots of cool things. I've been re I've been learning a lot how to use Google, Google Home Mini at home and I got this deal where I got two for the price of one. So I had one at home so I naturally thought hey I'll bring the other one to school um, but then I thought twice about you know and probably the biggest issue that I thought was going to be a problem was the fact that if I actually use Google Home Mini to say something like hey Google you know uh, set a timer for 10 minutes or something that my students would probably abuse that or maybe not abuse it but play jokes on it and think it's funny to mess around with it so I just decided to turn off the microphone so it cannot hear me it doesn't hear me when I say hey Google and so it's not gonna be a problem all I use it for as a speaker um, and it's really advantageous because it connects via Bluetooth with my computer and it also connects with my phone when I want to cast something um, like music in the morning, which I do every morning, and also during work time. So being able to control it from my computer and also from my phone is really advantageous because I could be sitting at my desk here or I could be across the room doing something with the kids and then I realize, oh, I forgot to turn on work time music, uh, you know, classical music while the students work. So I just I usually have my phone with me and I can just cast it to the Google Home Mini speaker from across the room. But anyway, um, there have been a few issues. Uh, one is the computer, for some reason the Bluetooth doesn't want to connect easily to my Google Home Mini speaker. And so I talked to customer support and they basically told me that it doesn't really work well with old Bluetooth you know, connections. So I bought one of these on Amazon, and this is just a tiny little USB Bluetooth, um, what do you call it, Bluetooth connection thing. I can't, I can't think of the right word right now. Um, so I plug it into my computer, and then it can connect but via Bluetooth to whatever device. Um, and another thing is I got this speaker too, uh, which is very powerful. Uh, because the Google Home Mini 
Uh, this speaker isn't that great, especially when I'm used to two huge honking big speakers that are really loud. And um, the Google Home Mini speaker is just tiny. It's just not as powerful as what I'm used to. This is one of the best sellers on Amazon, uh, which is good reason why, because this thing is tiny and very powerful. I tried it at home yesterday. Um, and so I'm going to connect this to my Google Home Mini and I am going to use this as a speaker instead of the Google Home Mini speaker. And this should be a good medium. It's not so loud as my huge stereo and it's not so little as my Google Home Mini speaker. Hopefully this will be a good medium. Up here, the nice thing about a Google Home Mini speaker is that it can really pretty much go anywhere. There's a plug because um, the Google Home Mini speaker needs to be plugged in. So thankfully with my projector, as you can see, my projector here is plugged in with a plug in the ceiling. And so I just took my Google Home Mini, placed it on top here, and it's just sitting there. And it's a perfect spot because it's central in the whole room and it's above so the students don't mess with it and there's a plug-in so it's perfect right here so I'm gonna try and put the other Bluetooth speaker up here too since it's small it should be able to just sit right on top and we'll see how it goes So as you can see, the red lights are on the Google Home Mini. Loud. Pause. Oh, man, this thing packs a punch. Um, so anyway, as you can see, the microphone is off for the Google Home Mini. So any parents worried about privacy issues don't have to worry. It looks a little ugly with all the cords up here. Funny thing is, is that nobody ever looks up here. Um, anything above eye level, usually you don't notice. And when you're far away, like from over here, you don't notice it at all. It's tiny. And the nice thing, that's another nice thing about having a bunch of Pez dispensers is everybody's eyes go straight to the colors rather than the projector. So I don't think, I don't think anybody will notice. Now the big test is just to see if the little USB Bluetooth thing works with my computer so that I don't have to reconnect every time. That's what I've been doing. For some reason, the Bluetooth connection on my computer doesn't work. And customer support for Microsoft said that I'll just have to reconnect every time manually unless I get one of these. So hopefully this will work. By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the back of Google Home. Well, I am slightly frustrated because of the fact that I have been trying to fix this problem and this new little Bluetooth USB thing does not fix the problem. It's recognizing two devices. This is my Google Home Mini. I renamed it Classroom Speaker. And then this is the new Bluetooth speaker that I just bought, Unz Angle 3. And this connects, but this one doesn't. And this is the same thing that happened with, with my computer before, and that's why I contacted uh, customer support. And uh, So I'm just not gonna deal with it anymore. If it's the same problem and a new little device, a new little Bluetooth USB thing didn't solve the problem, then I just don't wanna pull out my hair any more than I already have. Um, uh, I'm trying to let things go and not be too perfectionistic, and I'm trying to let things go and not worry about things and just say it's okay the way things are. So I did get the Bluetooth speaker to connect. So I am just gonna choose to be happy with this, and you know, uh, all in all, I have to remember that, you know, it's better than what I had before. Before I had, you know, two huge speakers up here and it was taking up a lot of um, bookshelf room, and now check out this tiny little speaker. This tiny little speaker is all there is right there. And I'm gonna be happy with it because now it's connected to my computer and now I can play videos for my students like this one. Woohoo! It's working on the screen. Great sound. Sounds awesome. So I'm excited. It's working good enough, right? That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.